Hey, what's up guys? Brian here, Brian's All Maintenance. Look at this. We're mowing grass today. We're over here at the property. We got Rob out here, finally. This guy got off on Easy Street last time. Hey, we're gonna do a little day in the life. Just take you guys with us today. You guys always wanna see a day in the life of uh, us cutting grass and running the business, running life. Uh, we're not working our traditional business today, right? With well, today's just Saturday. Uh, it's just kind of odds and ends, just a little bit of stuff here. I gotta mow the property usually on the weekends. I gotta go work on the trailer. Uh, the little hooks aren't, uh, they're oversized for my trailer uh, hitch receiver on the truck. And then I'm gonna go get some breakfast with the guys, go work on the blade grinder a little bit today. It's a busy, busy day. So here's where we're at so far. Check out these stripes, by the way. This is with the DeWalt stander. Okay, so super sunny. Try to get uh, the sun not in the lens as much. Sorry for that when we do videos and it gets a little blown out. We try to turn down the aperture and all that mess, but it's just super sunny. So I've already mowed this section. Rob's going this way. I got to get up back out there and help him out. Uh, but the DeWalt is laying some killer stripes. And that's what I got so far for you guys. Uh, I love little day in the life vlogs, you know. Monday through Friday, we're working, we're hustling, we're crushing it like you guys, but there's all the other stuff that goes along on the weekends, right? And that's outside of like creating YouTube videos and Instagram posts, right? All that, you know, fun stuff. Got to mow our property, got to work on the equipment, sharpen lawnmower blades. So I'm going to take you through it uh, with us today. And if you guys enjoy this kind of a style of a video, it's been a while since I did a day in the life, uh, big thumbs up. I really appreciate that. It's the best thing you guys can do to help the videos and help the channel grow. Helps me. Uh, so if you haven't thumbs up the video yet, what are you waiting for, right? All right, guys, let's get back to it. Let's get to mowing. We'll catch up with you guys here in a few minutes. So we're all done mowing and Rob was just giving me some gruff. He's like, my stripes don't line up. <laughs> no, yeah, they didn't end up lining up. You started over here, we went down, then you flipped down to the other side and you went the other direction. My stripe, or Rob, the, whatever, the main stripe is like this, then the next stripe I did was like this. Well, after, you know, 200 feet, it uh, <laughs> turned into a little pie shaped thing. But the, but the stripes look great today. Yeah, they look good. Overall, look pretty good. It just, the front doesn't match the back. Right. <laughs> Uh, well, <laughs> nobody sees the back though, right? No, I mean, you can barely see it, yeah. <laughs> Except for my neighbor, Jesse. And Jesse watches every video. I'm just going to uh, comment, you know, oh, know. What, what, what the heck happened back there? Don't worry about it, Jesse. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't see it because of the back valley, you know. But hey, you guys got no mark. He helped us with all those mulch jobs. Did you ever go home yesterday after helping us with the pass? No, uh, man, he, no, he came back you to my can't, house. We just went you home. can't kidnap him, Rob. Yeah, I, know. I know, like you're learning how this works, but you can't kidnap your friends. They they, they get to go home on the Isn't weekend. That what you do with me though? I, uh, no. <laughs> I told Liz you have two two part time jobs. One here, one with the media company. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you just never really leave, you know. But <laughs> you guys want to get some breakfast? Yeah, sure. Let's go get some breakfast, man. I'm looking forward to that. All right, guys, we'll catch up with you. All right, guys. So just got out of tractor supply here and had to get a couple basics. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you guys here. By the way, you guys will appreciate this. I got something for Liz. Check this out. She doesn't watch the vlogs. <laughs> I got her some little, like. Ethel, a little uh, slip-on shoes for her gardening. She's been planting and gardening and 
because she's uh, seven months pregnant, she's got the little the little bump. It's hard for her to bend over, obviously, and she's uh, uh, doing all that. So I got that, and then that's what I got. Northern, or no, was it Mother? How I saw Mother Earth news. <laughs> Homesteading, how to homestead. Was I uh, want to make the property like a farm one day and kind of do the deal? Not a farm, farm, but you know what I'm saying. And then healthy hens. This is for the chickens. So. <laughs> that's what I got for her and then this is why I came here don't drop it uh, is these d-ring hooks or I don't know if they're d-rings I don't even know what they're really called uh, just like the carabiners so I got these for the uh, new utility trailer the sure track trailer the problem with the sure track trailer is that they it's not really a problem it's just it's different is that there's 3 8 hooks that are huge like huge tow hooks that clamp onto the receiver of the truck and unfortunately, the hooks are so big that it won't go through that little eyelet. So uh, can anybody leave me some comments down below? Let me know if, I know it's not legal advice, right? But if this would work, because uh, here's why. Let me show you guys really quick. Those other hooks won't even hook onto what we're doing here. You guys can see, this is what the current short track trailer hooks look like, right? So these work out just fine, but even then, you have to put them on at an angle, right? Uh, Cause this, th look at this hole. It's, this is a stupid, stupid design and hitch. So with the three eighths hooks, if I can clamp that around here like so, and then put the big three eighths hook through here, I think I'll be good to go. I'm not gonna leave these on all the time cause I don't want them to rust out or anything, but maybe just leave them in the glove box. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Anyway, so some of you guys were wondering why you haven't seen the uh, new trailer just yet. We've had it for two weeks. Uh, I can't really use it. I don't even know how the guys hooked it up on the way back from Kelly and Sons. Uh, the reality is that uh, I think they just like clamped them in there, which is fine. Uh, but I can't, I can't run that regularly. They don't, they don't hook all the way through. So have you guys ever had to do that? Or alternatively, uh, one question I had with these is, instead of using these all day, can I replace that 3 8 hook with uh, like the little clamping style ones that you saw that this sure track trailer uh, has, the enclosed trailer has. That could be an option too. I just don't know if it's like rated differently. So I don't know if you guys got any suggestions, can you guys leave me some comments? Cause I'm always learning too. And uh, I just think whoever made the Ford hitch and receiver, I hope that person is permanently stuck doing cold weather testing uh, over in Siberia because it's the worst drop and hitch, um, you know, setup I've seen on a truck ever. Uh, no tow hooks for like any trailer I've ever ran with it work. It just doesn't make any sense. So, all right guys, so where are we at now? We are at my mom's house. Got the little 25 foot extension cord. And the goal here is to see if the RBG 712 can run off the truck. The reason is I'd love to see if I can take this thing to my storage locker and not have to have it here at my mom's, but I don't know if it can run off the truck plug. As you guys might have guessed, these things take quite a bit of juice, quite a bit of a surge when you first start them up. So we'll find out. Uh, here is the humble beginnings. Some of you guys have seen this, some of you guys haven't. I haven't really done any videos in here since last year, right? So here's our RBG 712. Absolutely love it. This is where we sharpen all of our blades. Thankfully, we haven't even had to come here just yet. We're two months into the season. That's how many extra blades we bought from Ballard. We got some Gator blades also. These are some of the Oregon ones that are brand new. Haven't even used these. I tried to save those for uh, the fall and winter, but here's the storage my mom's place. So when I say I'm out of storage, guys, I, I have stuff everywhere. I have stuff, I have stuff at your house. You don't even know it yet. I'm coming. <laughs> so can't wait to, uh, you know, build that pole barn. So here's what I want to do. Take this great plug, wherever this might lead. And we're going to see if we can extension cord this to the truck and see if we can get it to power. And if so, I'm taking this thing with me and I'm putting it in our storage locker so I can sharpen blades uh, over there. If not, I might have to buy a generator or something like that one day. But I don't know if that's really economically feasible, right?
Of course, I already bought the 25 footer. Why didn't I buy the 50 footer, right? All right, so we got that connected up. Great. We got the orange light, but if it faults, we'll know. So here's the goal. Like I said, if I can run this blade grinder, I'm taking it with me. <laughs> All right, moment of truth. Oh no. It surged. You know what I'm saying? Oh, come on. Lame. I guess even with that heavy duty alternator, it doesn't work, so dang it. Well, I guess we're gonna have to leave it here. We have to sharpen some blades really quick while I'm here hanging out at my mom's, and then we'll get back over to the storage locker and keep this thing moving. All right. So, I gotta show you guys inside here really quick, because uh, we've been coming in hot, and uh, here's the inside of the trailer. It's been a minute since we've been in here. I've actually been in here for about 10 minutes cleaning and organizing. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is a hot mess. Usually, like I said, we go hard until first part of June, and then it's kind of clean up and organize. And all this is trash going through my blades. Uh, you guys can see we have one or two sets here. One or two sets, a set, a set. I'm just trying to cherry pick through which ones are like really salvageable, which ones are from last fall, you know. Uh, all of our Ballard blades are doing pretty good. Uh, haven't sharpened any of them yet. We're going to do a little blade grinding video right now uh, in between this video. Uh, so we got two, two, four. So we got six, seven, eight, nine sets. And then I got another set or two over there in the box. I just, I just ordered a couple, like, I think I ordered eight sets or something like that. Um, just a lot of blades, just so I don't have to keep changing them out or keep sharpening them. But this is all like our quick grab stuff. People always ask the mid torque for blade changes. Are two different sockets, one's for the Echo Edger, one's for the Red Max Edger. Our little uh, steel screwdriver to stop that thing from spinning, right? Um, empty bottles, I guess you guys can fill in the blanks on that. And then our puck locks, our balance scraper, this is all of our quick grab crap. But uh, all this is just garbage, it all just gets thrown out once a week on Mondays when we go to our commercial sites. And uh, yeah, so we're coming in hot, man. There's stuff everywhere, as you guys can see. So we're finally over the hump and we can kind of start organizing a little bit. This is real life, this is day in the life. And this is what I normally do on the weekends if I'm not going 100 miles an hour doing something else, right? Uh, so feels good to finally get a few minutes here to just kind of organize and of course do it on the day where it's 89 degrees out, right? So, <laughs> all right, uh, let me see what else I got for you guys. All right, guys, so we're back at the storage locker here. Uh, it's about 3.30, so I wanted to um, show you guys really quick something new that we have here going on. So I wanted to originally, sorry for the wind by the way, take the blade grinder and I wanted to bring it over here to the storage locker. Um, there's no power here though. How frustrating is that? So we're working through our growing pains just like a lot of you guys are. So check this out. This is a little workbench here that I picked up at Tractor Supply. So this is a little $99, I think, or $89 with the little 10% off or whatever we got. Um, it can power up and then powers this little strip here and you can add whatever you want. And there's also a little light up here. So I think I might uh, bolt a vise here and then we have a uh, battery powered blade grinder, uh, angle grinder from DeWalt. So I can always touch up the blades here until I can get that RBG 712 over here with some power. Uh, or at the pole bar, because it's kind of inconvenient to be honest with you to go to my mom's every week or every other week. Uh, I'll go there for like family dinners, but it's just not worth going over there with the whole rig since uh, I just don't go over there a bunch, right? So anyway, this has come uh, something that's kind of new, by the way. It doesn't look like the most heavy duty, right? It's just a little 
basic workbench but this is something that i can get my oils up here my stable stuff uh any lubes oils all that mess up there we can put some tools down here you know so shout out to my boy rob rob put this together for me uh one of the days when i was doing some other work and uh looks really really good so this is where we're still uh, making gains and then like i said this unit i have the billy goat in here the mulch force uh dump force the multi-force and then this is the unit i just had but i just surrendered because i don't need it anymore by the way some of you guys were asking if we got the trailer tire fixed boom so we got the uh spare if you guys follow along on instagram you guys know that we had a mulch chip like that just sheared right into the uh sidewall i am not sure how that happens but thankfully we have the uh coupons or the uh the warranty so it was only 20 bucks for a new tire versus being out 150 bucks all right well that didn't take too long bam and then uh, usually we can just tie this loop here bam all right all set and then this is where we keep all of our headphones good to go all right guys well we're gonna button this thing up here with one last part like i was just alluding to and that is see if these hooks work so let me show you guys what i was talking about here and again sorry for the sun man it's just it's impossible to keep this not blown out uh so here is the chains i was talking about right so here is the coupler for the new short track trailer and this right here these are the hooks i'm talking about so you guys can see these are a monstrosity uh and that's fine i get it high tests uh these are three eighths somethings uh it says three eighths on the back not really sure what that's indicative about. If somebody knows, leave me some comments. Um, but my idea is to help me out here. Whatever. Feed this through here, right? And then carabine this to the back of the truck. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I got to rock with because this hook, there's no way it's going to hook onto this trailer, or the, my hitch. Look at that. This hook, I, uh, it's just so, such a bad I, design. I just don't understand. Real life, man, I get frustrated just like you guys. So, this is my solution, right? I think we're going to utilize these. These were 3,300 pound rated. Uh, I figure if I got two, that's 6,600 pounds. Am I, am I good to pull this? Anybody got any feedback? So that's what I got. So if we can do this, We'll be good to go. And then I can just leave these in my glove box or you know, in my uh, little container spot there uh, in the console. So, all right, well that's what I got for you guys in today's daily vlog. Not every day is uh, mowing grass, cutting that cash, making that, what does it say? Cutting that grass, making that cash. Some days we're just doing maintenance, blade grinding, blade sharpening, cleaning up the garage, cleaning up the shed, cleaning up the tools, and uh, just trying to hopefully get home and enjoy the weekend a little bit, you know? So that's what Sunday's for, right? <laughs> Sometimes. All right, guys. Well, over now, that's what I got for you on today's vlog. If you enjoyed it, big thumbs up. Day in the life. You guys always appreciate these vlogs, and they take a lot of time to take the camera with you all day and then to edit all the different scenes together. Amen? So, all right. One day we'll get this thing on the road, get that four-wheeler out to the property. All right, guys. We'll catch up with you on the next one. Bye.